Now, as an organization, if you are implementing Dynamics 365 for customer engagement and you already have a lot of content available, maybe on your intranet or on your particular website, and you want to reuse those as a custom online help and maybe develop more, then in that case, you can use a feature called a global custom help URL and can also develop table help URL along with that. In this video, we are going to see how you can enable these features and how you can use them. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now for your custom help requirements, Dynamics 365 for customer engagement provides you with two different help features and you can only use one of them at a time. That means you can enable only one feature at a time. You can't use both of them together. So one of the features is custom help for customizable entities wherein you can set up global custom help URL along with table help URL. And this is what we are going to discuss in this particular video. The other part is custom help panes wherein you can build, uh, you know, uh, inbuilt help experience and deploy it via solutions. Now this will be covered in a separate video. You can find the link in the description down below. So let's just go ahead and see how you can set up global custom help URL and table help URL. So when an environment is provisioned, uh, the custom help panes and the guided task feature as well as um, the global help URL and the table help URL is not enabled. So what happens when you click on this particular help icon on the nav bar? So if I click on this, it doesn't matter on which page I am. It will take me to Microsoft Dynamics 365 documentation, which is the standard Microsoft portal for learning, right? So it will take it over here. So as an organization, what I want to do is I want to change this behavior. Um, I might already have a, a, a portal or an intranet site where there is a lot of help content which is available. And what I want is that when my user clicks on the help icon over there, it should not go to Microsoft documentation page, but on, let's say on our intranet site. So let's just see how we can do that. So here we are in our platform admin center. Let's go to the environments. And then over here, let's select the environment on which we want to enable uh, the global help URL, okay? So I'm opening this environment. And over here, we can click on settings under products and under features, you will find a section called help features over here. All right. And as you can see, since this is a new environment, um, I do not have anything enabled over here. So for this particular scenario, we need to use this particular feature, custom help for customizable entities. So let's just switch this on, right? Now, as soon as you enable custom help for customizable entities, it will ask you for global custom help URL. So over here, I will just provide my blog website and what it will do is it will it will set this particular URL as the default help URL. OK, and we can go ahead and save this. Now, when you go back to your Dynamics 365 environment, you might have to refresh uh, your environment a couple of times for the changes to take effect. But now when you click on the help icon over here, it will not take you to the Microsoft documentation URL it will take me to the URL that I have set up. So if I click on this, you will notice that it is now taking me to the URL that I have set up. In this case, I have used my blog environment, but you can imagine you are using your own uh, organization's uh, URL. Okay. And for this particular case, if I click on the help icon over here, then again, it takes me to the same global URL that I've set up. Now, what I want is as a user, if I'm working on this particular entity, say case entity uh, or the incident entity, then I want to display um, a custom help URL when I click on the help icon, which will take me to the help content for, let's say, how to create a case uh, for my organization. So for that, we can uh, set up the table help URL and that we have to do at the table level. So for that, what I can do is I can go to uh, make.powerapps.com and I make sure that I'm in the right environment over here and then click on solutions. So you can open a default solution or maybe you can create your own solution, add the entity and then make the changes so that you are aware of what changes you have been uh, you're making. All right. So in this case, I'm going into my solution. And if I go to my case entity over here, and for my case entity, if I click on properties, it will open the properties window for this particular table. When I use the term entity and table, they are both the same entity was the old name, but now it's called table. So over here for this case table, you will see uh, that there is a setting over here, 
which says provide custom help all right so if i select this you can provide help url over here and what i want to do is whenever a person is on the case entity and if he clicks on uh, the help icon then it should take him or her to this particular page which can be your organizational page which describes how to create a, a case all right so in this in this scenario i'm using one of my blog pages and i click on save now once the changes are published i can go back to my environment and i can refresh uh, my page and you can use Control f5 to refresh the cache so that the changes take uh, effect and over here i'm on the case entity right so if i click on uh, my help icon over here it should take me to the specific page that i've set up all right so if i click over here you can see that it's a different page that i've set up you can imagine that you have uh, you have provided your own custom uh, url where it describes how to create a case so this is one of my post articles and now it's taking me to this particular page right i have not set up any other table url for any other entity so that means if I'm on any other entity, let's just say if I'm on contacts or accounts or any other entity for which I have not set up um, any uh, table help a URL, then in that case, if I click on the help URL, it will take me to the default URL. All right. So now you know the difference, right? So you can use the combination of global help URL and table help URL in this situation. So if you're working with your help features, this is one of a good features that Dynamics 365 provides. However, there are always two sides of a particular thing. And from my understanding or from my point of view, there are a couple of points that you need to consider as pros and um, or cons. So from the positive side, uh, what I believe is it's out of the box feature with no addition cost. You can provide global and table level URLs and use combination of both. You do not need to maintain um, help within Dynamics 365. That is, if you already have um, content as an organization which uh, on your portal or your internet you can reuse that and you can keep on maintaining that particular um, environment that you have right and you can just provide the urls over here and uh, when you configure the global and table level url the settings are part of the configuration that means you do not have to sort of uh, create a separate or manage a separate solution so that setting will go along with your normal deployment now as far as some of the downsides that are concerned um, well you first of all need to manage your help content outside of dynamics 365 environment um, only one url for global setting and one url for table uh, uh, setting url is allowed and if this particular setting is enabled obviously you cannot use the other feature which is the custom help pane and guided tasks you can only use one of them i hope this particular video was helpful why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself and we will meet you in next video thank you